All right, Journalism 207-002, this is Mark, and this is my down and dirty video tutorial that is not officially sanctioned by the school at all. This is just me doing it, because it's me. All right, when you open up Adobe Audition, this is, this is usually the window that comes up. The uh, editor window, it is a single file, uh, non-multitrack window. I'm going to record a file here by clicking on this red button. This is the record button. It opens up a window that asks me the file name, what sample rate I want, uh, whether I want it stereo, mono, and the depth, uh, bit depth, 16 or 32, etc. Uh, you got a whole list, but uh, 16 is fine. File name, let's go ahead and give it a file name. I'm gonna give it, uh, because we're gonna record a script that I wrote that's far too long, 395 Realty. I'm gonna give it that name, and I'm gonna call it Raw VO for raw voiceover. Cool. Sample rate, I wanted it 48,000 kilohertz, not 44.1 because all of my sound effects are at 48, plus 48 matches video better. And uh, and it's okay, 44.1 is an industry standard, like when you download your MP3s off of Amazon or wherever, they're usually at 44.1, but uh, for doing production work, I prefer, I prefer 48. You can always downsample to 44.1, upsampling makes it tinny. Channels, okay, we're all good, great. I've given it a name. And now, I have a little control board to the right here. Test, one, two, three, and my microphone. This is in my office. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm giving myself, uh, it's peaking, yeah, minus four, minus six, depending upon how loud I get, and uh, should be good. All right, I've got my levels, it's recording, it's all named. I'm gonna set up my little clock here, and here we go, three, two, one selling your house, then it's time for some get real estate. Those big commissions, 6%, 4%, even 3%, get real. 395 Realty has a flat fee of 1995. That's really it. 395 Realty is owned by Kevin Hopkins and Greg Shane, who put their 56 years plus of experience to work for you. Your house spends less time on the market and you keep more money in your pocket. That's a real deal. Call 395 Realty at 913-944-4000. 913-944-4000. Make your home, make your home a get real, uh, make your home a get real estate winner with 395 Realty. Online at 395realty.com. Groovy. Okay, there I am. How do I stop it recording? I can click here on the little red button or hit the space bar. Oh, I got to highlight it over here. Space bar. There we go. So uh, if you want to play it back, you can hit the space bar again. Let me turn up my little control board. Four minus six, depending upon how loud I get. Space bar so starts and stops it, or you can hit the play button if you're old school. Uh. All right, I'm going to get rid of all this extra stuff here. So see the cursor, the red cursor? Notice how when I click around here in the sound file, the cursor lands wherever I click. I'm going to click it right around here where I did my three, two, one. Click it, hold it. And then I'm gonna slide it to the left. I'm highlighting all that stuff. And then I hit my delete button. Boom. Same thing down here. I've got a bunch of wasty stuff down here. So I'm gonna click, hold, slide it to the right, delete. Boom, there it is. All right, right around here I had a flub up. Let's, let's hear it. 944-4000, make your home, make your home like get real. Uh, that's like two. <laughs> all right. Up here is a timeline. I can make this, I want to see this larger so that when I cut this stuff out, it's not so, it, it doesn't uh, uh, mess up. I need to see it more clearly. I can do it one of two ways. I can go down here to this little uh, magnifying glass that has a horizontal arrow at the top, and this is the plus one. I can plus, 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 or minus, 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 or what I prefer to do Here's the scroll bar, your timeline bar, not scroll bar, timeline bar. If you put your arrow, your uh, cursor up in there and use your scroll button, come on, I can scroll up and expand, scroll down and contract. So I'm scrolling up and notice this little uh, slider bar up here. I can get around in the file fast by doing this. You'll see a little red line, that's where your cursor is, bam. All right, this is where I screwed up. I'm going to hit uh, space bar. Make your home right around there, right? And this is where make your I got it clean. Make your home. So I'm going to get rid of that extra breath right there also. I'm going to click there, hold, 
drag, give myself a little, like I actually can breathe, and delete. Let's hear how that sounds. 944-4000. Make your home a get real estate. Good enough. All right, the rest of it was a decent enough read through. Eh, I'm going to get rid of this little bit of extra because I can. Highlight and delete. All right, this has got to go somewhere. It's got to go into a multi-track. Two ways to do that. You can, uh, where is it? Is it, uh, there it is. You can go under edit, insert, into multi-track, new multi-track session. Now, if you have a right-click ability, you can right-click, insert into multi-track, new multi-track. We'll do it this old school way. Edit, drop down to insert, into multi-track session, new multi-track session. This window comes up. You gotta give it a name. Now earlier, I gave it the 395 Realty, right? I think I copied that. No, I didn't. 395 Realty. And then let's give it a date. Uh, today, 160907. MG for who mixed it, that's me. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit of extra information because it was a theme for get real. Now, before I change anything there, I'm gonna hit Control A, which I think is Command A on Apple. Control C. I might wanna use this for naming some other stuff related to it. Here's a cool thing about when you insert from this window, <laughs> that was my finger, into multi-track. This new multi-track window, this will actually create its own folder. When you insert a file from the edit list view into a new multi-track, it'll create its own folder. Folder. I need to put it somewhere. So I'm gonna browse. Uh, yeah, we, let's see if eight gigathumb. Oh look, there's a mark production folder right there. Ready to go, who knew? So I'm gonna put it into mark production and I'm gonna hit okay. It's already at 48, bit depth is good, stereo. Usually your sample rate, bit depth, and all that will match the first file you insert into a multi-track. Keep that in mind. When you create a new multi-track session, the first file you insert it, all of this information, the sample rate and bit depth, will usually match that. Okay, I've got my name, folder, all this is good, boom. Oh, there's one that, yeah, I'm good with that. I, I tried this earlier and then and the camera messed up. Anyway, so I've got all of this information in here. I need music. Let's go find some music. I go over here. There's an import file. There's even an open file. They're really interchangeable. Uh, import file is usually for audio. Uh, the open file works for audio and sessions if you've already made a session. Uh, we'll use the import file. Control I. Oh look, I already have some music beds and this will be on a thumb drive that I'll share with you. Let's say I want to use my Backtracks music library and I want corporate and industrial. Now uh, I need to find length. Actually I can do it by size, uh, but it's not there. We'll go by length. Okay, let me get rid of this, sorry. There's the length on all of these. I'm gonna click length because I only want ones that are like a minute. Actually, I'm even gonna do a 30 second one. So it's going up in size. Here's one that's 30 seconds. Usually I would listen to it and I would go through to find the exact right one, but I'm in a hurry. I haven't got much time left. So I'm gonna open that one. I double clicked on it. Oops. You can double click or like here. Well, that's, I need to get that back down. There we go. Um, you can click. Go down here and there's open here in the far right hand side or just double click. Okay, here it shows up, look at that. It's over here in your file window, your file list. I'm gonna grab that last one I clicked. I can click on it, it highlights it. I click and hold and I drag and drop right into the mix. Now notice it's too short because this copy is way too long. That's embarrassing. Um, and then I hit play. Selling your house? Then it's time for some get real. Oh, that's really sad. I hate that music. Look, I it was highlighted. I hit delete. It goes bye bye. Let me show you it again. I dragged and dropped. I didn't like it. I click it. Delete. 
that gets rid of it. I'm going to go get the other one. Drag and drop. Is this more feisty? Let's click here. It's time for some real estate. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to zoom in. Remember how you can uh, use your scroll button up here, or you can use your horizontal um, uh, looking glass. But I'm going to get up here. I'm going to hit home. And notice this bracket that shows up, this red bracket. You can uh, extend or uh, uh, delete the ends of files like that using that. I, when the red bracket shows up, I click and then I drag left or right to extend or uh, shorten or, or uh, lengthen. Okay, so I've done that. I lengthened it, then I went up here and grabbed it. Just a left click and drag. Boom. Now see, it's too short. What I'm going to do, there's some nice beats here, a lot of them actually. I'm just going to find one, I'm going to put my cursor here, and, uh, oh, for you guys, oh, I don't have my shortcuts, I don't have them up here. Usually you would have a sp split. It usually shows up as a razor blade, for me it's an X. But uh, you would razor blade right there, notice how now, oh look at that, I can click and slide this. Now I'm going to zoom out a little. I'm going to slide this all the way to the end because I want the music to end right about there. Let's see, we'll do that. And then I'm going to razor it. Go get your razor blade and do it. Mine's not set up that way, so I'm going to click X for me. It's a shortcut, and it's cut. That chunk, extra chunk, I highlight it, I click on it, and hit delete, it goes bye-bye. Now remember how with the bracket, I can lengthen? I'm going to drag this all the way back over here. Now look how it automatically crossfades. You see that big X? That's a crossfade. I'm going to zoom in again. See that beat point right there? That looks kind of juicy. Oh. I just slid it back so I can see it clearly, and I'm going to highlight and slide this. It looks like it more closely matches right there. Let's see how that sounds. Less time on the market and you get more money in your pocket. Is it perfect? No. Is it close enough? Yeah. Why? Because we're going to lower the volume on this music and you'll barely be able to hear it. All right. I'm going to make this small again. Up here in the timeline, I'm scrolling down. Get over here to the end. I click. I listen. That's a long trail out. Remember that little button I showed you the other night? You can drag this and it makes a fade. Look at that. Fades out faster. Yay! And then I can even make this shorter so it fades out really fast. Now it's way loud. We're going to go get the volume and then I'm going to mix it down and be done. This is a volume control for the whole track. This yellow line, you can do it for the clip itself. Oh, by the way, here's a nice little hint. If you did something like that, and you're like, I don't want to do that. Control Z or Command Z makes it go back. I'm going to take the whole track down because the music is underneath my voice the whole time. So I'm going to drop it down about 15 decibels. I'm going to click in the multi-track window, hit home. That takes my cursor home immediately, all the way back to the beginning, and then play. Space bar. Selling your house? Then it's time for some get real estate. Those basic Still a little loud. 4%, 4%, I'm going to take it down another couple of decibels. Real. 395 Realty is online at 395realty.com. Now, if I wasn't in a hurry, I would go massage where the music bed gets louder because it's softer here, louder here, and I would actually go through and kind of change this here. We don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to knock it down another couple of dB. That way, all of it's easily listenable. Real estate winner with 395 Realty. I'm gonna click home again. There we are at the beginning. Okay, we've got our mix. Let's save. Control S or I guess Command S. Save. Would I like to change would I like to save changes to 395 Realty Raw VO? Absolutely! I want to save that file too. Oh, it showed up in another I'm sorry, I've got two windows uh, two windows for my uh, computer two screens. This should pop up. File name, da da da. Oh, it it defaults to wave. I want is in an MP3 and I want to put it in the correct folder. 
This folder happens to be on, what was it, 8 Gigathom, Mark Production. There's this uh, folder that I created, and I save it in there. It's 48 kilohertz, da da da. Do you check your info because uh, this is your chance to save it correctly? Okay. Now, there it is. I need to do one last thing. I gotta mix this down to a file and I gotta do it quickly because I'm running out of time on my uh, camera here. So, I go to multi track, mix down to new file, entire session. Look at that again. You're gonna make this into a single MP3. Multi track, mix down to new file entire session. Oh, there it is. Oh, selling your house. Then oh, it's artwork. Real estate. Oh, radio. Yes. Okay. You need to save it. Notice it has its own name now. MG Get Real. It's got all that stuff that I named uh, the mix, but it's called Mix Down 1. File. Save as. Check all of this format. We want an MP3 because uh, it's easier to email to clients and it's easier to store, it's easier on your network for throughput. 320 kilobit, oh, snooze, snooze, sorry. And then, make sure it's in the right folder. If you've saved stuff before, it'll do it, but I, I like to make double sure, okay, it's in the right folder, that's all good, okay. Now, notice the name. I don't want mix down, I wanna let, pe I wanna let people know that this is the final file that's ready for air. Final. I add that to the name. You see that? Get real, final. Everything else is good. Save. Look at that. Now I can go into that folder and from my email send it to anybody, everybody. I can upload it to D2L and, uh, and make it my assignment. There you go. Uh, I know that's down and dirty. Uh, watch this as many times as you need to. Thank you so much. I really look